What's up, y'all? It's your boy Joe Corey. Back with another video. I just wanted to make a video about my my new wheels that I got. I think it looked like aggressive now. Like this is a stock wheel. I will be lowering it pretty soon, um, so it look it'll look more flush. Now I'm thinking like <clears throat> I'm putting like a, a a splitter over here. And I feel like once it's lower, like the front lowers an inch and a quarter. So I figured out like. It'll be about right here. I just want to make sure I got clearance for my driveway. Cause I got a steep driveway, but I think I'm gonna do it and just see how it go. And hopefully, uh, you know, it won't be too bad. But if you could just look through the profile, like you can see the back. It just looks so menacing. Like I love that stance in the back. And I kind of like the skinny wheel up front, you know, for this uh, rolling resistance, uh, like roll races and stuff like that. So I am still trying to figure out um, what I'm gonna do um, engine-wise to the car. I think I'm leaning towards a Roush blower just to keep the warranty for a while and then go from there. Uh, I heard the car runs like 11s. You could probably get into into the tens and like good DA and like decent weather. But if it's hot, I heard those uh, superchargers from Roush like they really. Um, they get like heat soaked very easily but i don't know y'all y'all let me know what y'all think let me see if i can see this dance that look nasty to me y'all i don't know what y'all think leave a comment below if y'all like it but, so i am gonna be doing uh i'll get in the car first and i'll talk to you get a little cold start before i get in the car the deal y'all it's your boy jay cooley back with another video so like i was saying earlier like today's video specifically is just going to be on a zero to 60 uh, uh my 60 foot and a quarter mile uh, i'm not expecting like um any great times because the road i'm going to is like trash um the city i live in has the worst roads probably in the world I'm gonna just say it like that. So I'm working with what I what I can. Uh, it is like a little private road. So uh, yeah, there won't be no cars or nothing like that. Anyway, but yeah, so if this is your first time watching, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I appreciate y'all. Road to 10K right now. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to building this car for y'all. Like I said, I plan on boosting it eventually. I can't I can't do this NA stuff bro like coming from a Hellcat red eye with 900 horsepower and then going back in there it kind of felt like going from like a, a four or five hundred horsepower car going back to a economy car with like 150 horsepower it's 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 a huge difference and um don't get me wrong the car is fun it handles way better than the Hellcat don't get me wrong and it's lighter but the power is just not there. And that's what I, that that's my main thing with cars. That's what I buy cars for, the power. Even with a scat pack, like it's only 485, but that torque is there, like it, it, it punches you. This really ain't that torquey. It still has a, a good amount of torque. I think it's like 420. Um, I think it's rated for 420 at the crank or something like that, but but yeah. So I plan on boosting it. Um, like I said in my previous video, I'm plan on, I plan on making a, separate video on what uh, company I'm gonna go with for boost whether it's gonna be Roush with a warranty or Whipple or maybe even turbos I don't know but I'll explain to y'all why I'm doing what I'm doing um, because my specific situation in the area I live in not everybody is you can't just let anybody touch your car like I'm gonna just say it like that um, because not everybody cares about your car not every tuner um, puts in you know like the thought like not every tuner treats the, your car or the cars they're tuning like it's their car like they actually care about it so some tuners will mess you up but i will say that because it's a few up here where i live but anyway that's beside the point we're gonna get into this video 
if this is your first time watching like comment and subscribe for me i really appreciate y'all i really need y'all support i don't care if i get 50 views this video i need all 50 of y'all to go ahead and hit subscribe for me bro um the only way we're gonna grow this channel is if y'all supporting the only way we're gonna get better content is if y'all supporting i uh, appreciate everybody that is already subscribed um I'm probably do a giveaway at 10k like a big giveaway because that's that's a huge milestone right now i'm at 6k so it might be a little while hopefully we can hit 10k before the end of the year um, that would be amazing but yeah we're gonna get into this video like i said 60 foot zero to 60 um quarter mile i'm gonna do the best i can there i do have a uh, nitto 555 r2s on the back so that should help with the time a little bit but this road like i said guys this this road that i'm going to is it ain't it i ain't gonna lie that road is not that guy but yeah so i'm gonna get into the video right now um enjoy these clips or a clip it might just be one i'm gonna just take the best one put it in and then we're gonna talk about it afterwards all right peace ago and the best i could do um that road is terrible by the way like that road is like like terrible the best i could do was uh one second uh all right y'all so like i was saying the best i could do was 12 5 um on that road it was a crappy road so like, i feel like if i was on a prep surface or uh like at the drag strip i probably could have knocked off a couple tenths so i'd probably say the car with nittos on, long stop, hella shit in my trunk. I'm around like either 12.3 or 12.2, depending on how well it looks and, you know, how good the prep is. But 12.5 on the street, on a terrible street, uh, that's not bad for, you know, 460 horsepower. Um, like I said, I plan on boosting it because I feel like, I don't know, coming from a, a Hellcat Red Eye, like, when you coming from boost, it's and then you go back to NA. It's, it's like it's junk be like it, it be it sound good and all, but like it just feel like a regular car compared to boosted cars. I don't know how to explain it. Like if you ever been in these type of cars and you go drive uh, like a, a four cylinder economy car, it's kind of like the same thing going from a boosted car to an NA car. It's it's just like you missing that power that you you know used to. Or whatever so I, I came from like 900 horsepower to crank to 460 crank that's literally half half the horsepower um don't get me wrong it's not that it's not half it's not half the speed nowhere near but it's like a like a second and a half off almost if not more a second and a half to two seconds off that's a that's that's a big gap in drag racing two seconds is a big gap but um yeah so like i said i'm gonna be doing something to this engine i don't i'm not sure exactly what yet like i said i'm leaning towards roush just to stay on, just to stay on the safe side and like i said i'm gonna make a video separate about um why i don't want to do like a whip pool or turbo it's not even that i don't want to it's just the area that i'm in is kind of hard to do so so yeah, but yeah, this is the end of the video. Um, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff for me. Um, yeah, we got a lot coming soon. Just stay tuned, y'all. I promise y'all I'm going to get these videos banging out. Keep rocking with me, and I'm going to rock with y'all. I'm out this thing.